Folks, we're going to make a big pot today and I've got my man on camera so I'll try and get you some different views of knuckle lifting and how my hands are and stuff like that. So we'll see how it goes, it's a bit of a trial and error job so off we go. I'm going to make quite a big one, this is £7 a clay so I'm just going to centre her up first. Cone it up. Bring it down. So we'll go to within about a sort of quarter of an inch of the bottom and pull it out. Compress the base again. Narrow it up a bit. I'll just use a bit of a heel lift for slightly, just for the big clay. I'm just using the heel of my hand just to lift a bit of the thick stuff up there. And I'll collar it in again, just squeeze it right in. Making sure it's narrow at the top, but at the bottom, obviously, and again, just squeeze it right in. So now we'll do the first knuckle lift, which basically is hand inside, knuckle under the bottom, let the clay flow up that knuckle. So there you go, I'll dig my knuckle in there. And as you can see, keep my thumbs above it just to sort of stop it from going outward. And just pull it up, get a lot of clay up really quickly. Top like that. I'll slow, it, I'll slow it right down now that it's getting taller because otherwise it'll go all over the place. Just collar it in again. Collar it in again from the bottom, it might go a little bit wobbly, but it'll so I can straighten it up. So again. Another knuckle lift. Just may have to lube up a bit. Get my arm right now. Same thing, knuckle at the bottom. Lift it up. So you need to be a bit taller. Get on tiptoes. So that's the top basic uh, cylinder shape. So I'll just try and now form it into a bit of a vase shape. It's a bit wide at the bottom, but we'll see how we get on. I'll just squeeze it in again at the bottom. It'll look a bit rough until I finally. shape it properly. I'm just using my fingers on the inside, there's no way you get a shot of this. Just to sort of force it out. Get a bit more water on. So I'm not doing any lifting now, I'm just forcing it out from the inside out. Tidy the shape up in a bit, it might look a bit rough, but it'll come to. I'm just going to collar the top in so it doesn't get too flared out. Cut any uh, excess wobbly stuff off at the top with my little pin, if I can find it. Do that now. Straightens that out. Just, I'm just going to make a ridge there and then I'm just going to go up. There we go. A bit more height 
to it. Oh, got a bit wobbly, a little bit thin. Not enough water up. Final shaping now from the inside. Just flaring it out, put a bit of a better shoulder shape to it. Widening it out. But with the top it's gone a bit thin. Get the old water mopped out again as usual. So that's about it, I'll just give it a bit of a sponge off. You might have got a few different angles there, don't know yet, I haven't seen it myself. <laughs> So anyway, that's just another tall vase from various different angles. Maybe you've seen the knuckle lift a bit better. But that's it. Big vase, different angles. That's it. See ya.